you saw it. You're dead wrong. They were handcuffed and later taken to jail. Why are they putting this on us? I think they should cut it out now because this ain't gonna solve the problem. I told you I don't want you living with roaches. Warning. This show contains graphic depictions, faceless painting, and real-life accounts of the most nefarious of activities. Yea, though they do try to project themselves as upstanding, productive members of society, these two knuckleheads just ain't worth a damn. If any of you should find this show to be offensive, turn it off and stop being such a vagina. Hey, yo. I'm just evening up the shot, bro. You're shaking your head like I was doing you a, 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 well, an injustice <clears throat> or something. I'm looking at I'm looking at both of the of the the snifters or the fucking jiggers. And I noticed that you were just topping mine off a little bit, a little bit aggressively. That's all. Well, um, I want to point out that my shot glass has a gold rim, so um, it's been like highly established through scientific methods that, um, and metallurgy, um, that metallurgy. Al- that alcohol that touches metal is more potent. So that's why that all whole right. system happened. <clears throat> So uh, we got to do this one to uh, sure Bill Thompson. You hear me? Feel. Yes, absolutely. To my childhood man, to a, to a fellow that I grew up with, yeah. Bill Thompson. I yeah. met him later on. Cool cat, bro. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest Go in easy, peace. big dog. Go easy. Thanks for the moment of silence. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know. So, Dave. What's happening, Captain? How you been, bro? Doing gravy, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Beard's looking nice, dude. <clears throat> Thanks, son. I trimmed half of it off before I came over here so I wouldn't intimidate your chihuahua. Oh, well, thanks. Appreci- she yep. she appreciates that. I'm sure. She is a long-haired chihuahua, though. Um, yeah, I don't... Whatever. Like whatever. there's a short hair breed and a long hair breed. She's the long hair breed. So I she just, looks at your beard and she's like, biatch. I can't. I can't appreciate Chihuahuas in general, bro. Yeah, it's, you're. You're just like. I, see, I never understood that about people who like. Man, like, like. So I. All right, I'll put it to you like this. Like, so I never considered myself a dog person. Right. Until I met Miley, and then like you just fall in love with the dog. Yeah, because it's a victim if you don't fall in love with the dog. If you hate the dog, then it dies. Like it's, it's Well, because what, you crush it in its sleep while like you I don't know. What are you trying to say, Dave? I don't know. Shit happens. It's just they're yappy, bro. Like they're they're Not really him. yappy and really small, bro. Yep, you ever heard her yap? <clears throat> in general. Yeah, yeah but I heard her what yap. Hap- I heard her yap today. What happens when you don't have a yapper? Um you have peace? I don't know. What the fuck you want me to tell you? I just, I can't appreciate it, bro. It's just me. Dude, dogs in general, <laughs> if like, okay, if you're a, a loud dog. Uh-huh. So you could be a yapper or a woofer. Mm-hmm. But if you're either, I'm going to want to murder you. Well, okay. Cool. So okay. just keep your fucking, or if you're a cat and you're a meower. Yeah. You own both these things that we're talking about, so I don't understand why you're speaking out against them. Like that doesn't make sense to me. And then you're looking for a reaction from me. I'm I'm dumbfounded. Like I'm not looking for a reaction from anybody. I don't know what to say. I'm cause... sharing my reality with you, bro. All right. Well, I got a question for you. Fire away, homeboy. All right. What do you call it if you're floating underwater? It's not floating unless you're floating at the surface of the water. It's not levitating. It's not hovering. What is it? Immersion. Like, if I just did it, how will I describe what I just did when I do it? I just told you. What? Immersion. So, you come up from the water and you're like, did you see me? I was just in. I was immersed. Immersed? Yep. Immersed. Maybe immersed. Immersed. That just means that you were in it. Doesn't mean that you were levitating in it. No, but it, it describes exactly what the fuck you were doing. You were immersed. Yeah. But it doesn't say what you were doing while you were immersed. You were fluidly immersed. Cause you were it, immersed in motion. Because check it out. I can lay at the bottom of the water. Yeah. Like on the bottom of the pool. Yep. I'm immersed, but that's not what I'm doing. Feel me? Mm, okay, so you're, you're, in, you're in a... It, okay, so you're in a hovered state of immersion. 
It's like you're in water purgatory. I, I, I choose the term hovered state of immersion. Okay, hovered state of immersion. Duly noted, sir. I mean, you asked for my opinion. And Absolutely, and that's, that's what I got. I appreciate that. Um, hey, have you ever thought that you might be the white version of Ebro? Uh, who's, what's Ebro? He's like a, um, a more, uh, like a DJ, like a morning DJ. Um, no, cause, um, I would never knew that person existed. He's a celebrity, like a, like, I guess if you're like, a, uh, like a morning. So my question is, uh, did you just pay me a compliment or give me an insult? I think it was a compliment cause he's, he's like a successful celebrity. Okay. Well, I guess I'm cool with that. But he's a black dude. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Right. That's why I said, like, you're the white Ebro, maybe. <clears throat> Do I? Okay. So I resemble that guy, like, physically or just... I've never met like, him. my tendencies? I think your beard. I think it's a beard. Oh, he's got a beard. I got you. All right. All right. See, that's the thing about... that's. All right. Let me just... All right. So that's the thing that I have about beards, bro. It makes men look all the same. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. Like, there's <clears throat> nothing different... Than like you and some like ridiculously handsome man with a beard, and some ridiculously ugly dude with a beard. Like just because we all share you a beard, all look the same. All of you guys. It's like beard racism. It's what it is, bro. And that's why simple bitches love beards, and that's why sophisticated bitches don't. I so beg to differ. That's reality. I'm married to a sophisticated bitch. But it, <laughs> Case in point, married. You're disqualified from the equation. So sophisticated women don't get married? No. You are disqualified. Not her. You are disqualified. You, your beard does not count in the equation. Your beard is novelty beard. It, my beard is like the center point your of the whole equation not, because you were like um, beard, your, beard, beard, beard. And your beard, beard is not at play beard. here because your beard literally is not at play. I think I know who you're talking about, um, Ebro, uh, hip hop DJ. Yeah, yeah, check him out. Like, yeah, I know who you're he's talking. He's a black about. dude with a beard, like, yours. <clears throat> and he's got some gray in it, and you know, he's not exactly black though. He's kind of light skinned black. Real light skinned. Wasn't that the dude that was doing the um, hot nine seven? He is hot nine seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hot nine seven. Um, like him and Rosenberg, but the, like the white ball dude. Yeah, and they yeah. they have an event every year, and Takashi Six Nine was barred from that shit. Yeah, and snuck in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. him. So it's Ebro, and then the other, and then Charlemagne is the other dude. So it's like there, those are the two like hip hop DJ guys. Charlemagne, and you look like Ebro, really? Charlemagne the God, yeah. I do not look like Ebro, bro. I just realized who you're talking about, and it's just the beard. Trust me. Okay. You can't see past my beard. That's what I'm saying. Is all dudes look the same with a beard? Like yeah, but you've been knowing me since before I had. You're this fucking discounting beard. your handsomeness, is what I'm saying. You're trying to you're trying to flatter me so that I let your comment fly. Bro. I don't give a fuck about flattering you. I'm telling you how simple fucking you look with a beard. Look, I gotta sleep here tonight because I drank too much to drive home, so I'd appreciate it if you don't tell me I'm handsome. Is that cool? I'm just saying you're simple. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> handsome. I don't give a fuck how good you look, motherfucker. It doesn't do anything for me. I got a stupid question for you, bro. Yo. What, tell me, please, what is with these people that don't shower? Like the hippie type or the biker type? Or uh, regular people that just don't shower type. Because check it out. The other day I was in Walmart and I walked past this chick. I saw her at the end of the beer aisle, right? And I just glanced over there and I was trying to pick out what beer attractive, I wanted that no. day. Um, she was attractive, but like not not for me attractive. But like fit enough to fuck? Um, I don't even know. I just, I saw her face. I thought she had a pretty face. She had like really long dreads, and I was like, that's kind of cool when you see a chick with dreads. Like, if they can rock dreads, you're like, all right, you're rocking the dreads, you know, go yeah. you, right? When's you know? the last time she showered is, is the second thought that yeah. comes well, to mind. No, that didn't even cross my mind. So anyway, I pick out my beer, and then um, I got to go get some other shit, so I'm, you know, like tooling down the aisle. I walk past her, and I swear to God, Todd, it hit me in the face like ammonia body odor Dude. it was like whoosh, 
It hurt, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's offensive, and they do that shit on purpose. I don't know, bro, but her body odor was just like, wow! That was the dopest sound effect in the last 10 minutes. I know, right? So, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, she's got to be doing it on purpose because it can't be like she doesn't, she she doesn't knows, realize it. She knows. She knows. And she likes it. Well, but well, why? Why yeah, does anybody do that? You ever take a really nasty poop and then fucking just took a big, deep inhalation? No. Sometimes your poo smells good. Um... No to everything you just said, and no to the lady that I saw at the end of the beer aisle, bro. I'm it's sorry. It's just not my thing. I'm sorry. I don't understand it. I'm sorry that you don't enjoy the fruits of your own labor <clears throat> like others do. So, uh, is there ever a time where you don't shower for days? Dude, I have... These are Todd's confessions. So, I only shower when I have to be in front of people. So, but otherwise, but yeah, but like you don't do shit that breaks a sweat. Like you're constantly in air, air conditioning, so it doesn't matter. And even if I do sweat, I'm hairless, so I don't. And there's no bo involved in me. It's just like it's it's like an invisible, scentless sheen that overcomes my body and envelops me. It's weird. That's nasty, bro. I don't even know. It's, it's like, like waxy, nasty. It's not even waxy. It's just more like it's <clears throat> mist. That implies that it's airborne. I don't want nothing to do with that. But seriously, what what imp what compels people to not shower for days, bro? Like you build up an odor, you gotta smell it. The only thing that I can think to justify that is if it's like a religious situation. No, I can tell you what it is, man. Like it's what? the it's the challenge, it's the thrill of the chase. Like how far can you go? No, that doesn't. Um, I don't like that, bro. Dude, I can go like I can go way over a week and still go out in public and nobody would know. I don't want anything to do with that. Like that's doesn't interest me. I don't understand it, bro. Well, I'm telling you that I'm physically capable of controlling my body over <coughs> to that Fuck degree. That. Speaking of smells, you bro. Fucking weird ass motherfucker. No, you like, weird. Why does like, that? You just <laughs> you just brand down some weird shit to me, bro. I, don't I know. Even, I like I saw it. the like your I saw you were just like I dropped points in your fucking index, and I, I I really don't give a fuck. All right, well you know do you, bro? Um, more There's nothing wrong with. All right, you're the fucking dude who's supposed to be like um, what is it like the bug out guy, right? Like so like no uh, no I'm not a bug out guy. No, but well. Prepper, prep, prepper no, guy. No, I'm not a prepper guy. Oh, you're not? Okay, no. my bad. Then I mischaracterize you. I Damn, apologize. Bro. Speaking of smells, um, <laughs> this, I, check this out. This is a situation. It was posted by one of our... Dude, uh, you would not survive in a fucking apocalypse situation. If you're concerned about showers, you really would not well, survive. Well, I mean, things change. In that context. But like you were really, bit. you're like literally stuck. End your of pinky. the world you're like, changes my shower schedule. Dude, you were pinky out about my shower situation. No, That's, I was not pinky out. I was like, why would anybody consciously choose to not shower for a fucking week? Dude, have you ever tested the boundaries of your own like body? I don't care where the boundaries lie. Like I well, consider you should know it a these luxury things. to stand. Dude, you have in the children. What uh, if you? What if your children ask? Well, hey, hey, Dad, bro. what happens if I go a week without showering? You won't have that answer. I don't give a fuck because I want them. I want them to shower too. I don't no, want to smell they need stinking to know fucking the asses. Answer, I don't bro. want to smell a stinking fucking asses. And frankly, <laughs> you need to know the answer. Let me tell you this, bro. I love hanging not, out in the shower. I'm not trying to tell you how to raise your children. But I'm look, just saying. I love hanging out in the shower. The so, shower is a luxury to me. So, so do I. Back in a G, when it was just me living by myself, I would put on Chicago records. Um, Don't stop. No. Believe. No. 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 And no. I would put on a long train to Boston. <laughs> I would put on a record by Chicago because he sang about um, standing in the shower for an hour watching the blues go down the drain. And uh, so that I would, sounds so depressing. Bro. I would put that record on and I would go hang out in a shower, and it would be so 
comforting. Bro. And you would watch the blues drip down the drain. I don't know what the fuck problem he had going on, but the shower is a comfortable place to be. You hear me? I feel you. Dude, do yourself a favor and take uh, a shower in that motherfucking shot with that shower head it's it will leave it's almost like getting a tattoo um it's probably like largely unused according to your habits that you've just announced to all the reloaded 504ians i'm completely fine with my uh <clears throat> see for all of the ladies out there that that intimately know my physiology they know that well Todd the Hairless Wonder just really doesn't create sweat. You it's realize just, that this podcast re- reaches to areas of the earth that you've never set foot upon. Yeah, I mean... No, Seriously. I'm, I'm international. We got listeners... I, I've look, I look at stats. We got listeners... International, like, so that means... In fucking Thailand. We got listeners in Sweden. Yes. We got listeners I'm in... I'm a big fan. I love all dude, you... Hey... Hey, shout out to all my Thailand people. <coughs> um, you don't even have to be a fan, but if you hear this, any of this, then I love you. I'm going to come see you guys soon. Yeah, and he's going to smell fucking funky because he don't not, shower. I'm going to bathe in your, in your rivers. Anyway, bro, speaking of smells, um, I want to um, shout out a friend on Instagram because she's a supporter. And uh, she shows us lots of love. Uh, 1979 Candy. It's actually underscore 1979 underscore Candy. She says she likes to listen to Reloaded 504 at her job. Well, not really. She says that she likes to listen to true crime podcasts while she's at work. But since we turned her on to Reloaded 504, I mean, there's no truer crime stories than these here. Right? Bruh. Yeah, I would I would tend to agree. Um, however, 1979 candy. We got real life stories about running from the police. 1979 so candy. Holla. Oh my god, with your beautiful 38 year so. So check it out. This was her post. Anyway, look, you listening? I am. Okay. I mean, I would be if the fucking headphones worked, but yeah. On a first date, should you take a shit in your date's house? Now, at first, you're, like, grossed out, but then second time around thinking about it, you're like, this could be a situation. Okay, I actually have something, like, I have a story that I think that I can share that may be poignant in this regard. So, um, so, 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 this happened, you can edit this once I get the fucking headphones to work so I can hear things. All right, so... So I was at a uh, I was at a friend's house and um, I felt the overwhelming need to um, just take a fucking like pr- pass like to fart. But how familiar were you with this friend? Though? First time over there. First time over there. Yeah. And you were with a friend that knew that friend, or was your friend that you? We made? just got finished fucking. All right. All right. Well, that changes everything. Like you gotta, you gotta tell everybody this. Yeah, this happened like fifteen years ago. It doesn't matter. But okay, so you just finished having sex with this person. Well, like, so we wake up in the morning and like I have to poo in the morning type thing. Okay. All right. All right. So, so she goes off to to handle her uh, her grown or her ten year old child in the other room, which. Worked out wonderfully. And in the meanwhile, I uh, slipped into the, the commode and uh, Roger. drained my uh, <clears throat> intestines. <laughs> I think it doesn't matter as much if you've already had sex. I mean, I don't know what to say, but it like had to come out of my body. Yeah, I mean, there's no stopping it. Yeah, like it, it, it could have been explosive. There's no telling. I don't know what they were like watching like Pokemon shit or whatever, but like there were like rockets going off. I mean, you and I were talking about in um, a previous episode, I think that was entitled uh, Pissing in Your Car. <laughs> we yeah, were, yeah, yeah, when it has to happen, it has to happen. When it has to happen, it has to happen. Yeah. Um, so you and I were discussing ways that cars could accommodate such said 
actions yeah, aforementioned. Yeah. Gatorade bottles accommodate the head of most pain eye. Right? So, yeah. Um, it's a good question, uh, 1979 Candy. Um, I'll tell you this. I think that if I was on a first date with a female and we stopped off at my house before we went out and she had to use the bathroom, um, as long as she was like, hey, do you need to use the bathroom? Because I need to use the bathroom. If she gave me that out, then I could pee first, right? If I had to pee. That way I wouldn't follow right behind her to pee right after she just dropped a bomb. That's number one. Number two, I think that um, every person should keep some sort of uh, smell good in their bathroom so that if you're in a situation like that, you can give a squirt squirt and, you know, it won't be so much work work if anybody else walks in there after. Now, you say a squirt squirt. Do you mean a spray spray? Because I was about to say there's this pro- there, there's like a couple of new products out. Yeah, you about to bring up the that like you actually do squirt into the like into the toilet, toilet water. Yeah, no, I've never kept that before in my life. And they I, supposedly have you ever been around that? Does it work? I don't know, but supposedly what it does, and I could be fucking. I mean, you know, feeding into their fucking marketing, but like it creates a like so you spray it on the water, <coughs> and it, it like becomes a fucking like toilet condom. Anything that says it contains enzymes, I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. Right, here. your it's enzymes like some kind are of like biological action. Right. MSG enzymes. Yeah, yeah. It's same like, thing. It's, it's I like devour those things. Biomagic. I have no idea what's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. We have alkalimes in our system. So yeah, I've seen that. I've never used it. I've never uh, like kept it for guests to use. But you know what? Now that you're mentioning it, I saw it at my mom's house. Dude, literally, this is what it. Is, this is how it. This is how they market it. So you poo, you take a shit in a fucking toilet, right? And you spray some poopery on top. Yeah. And it forms like, it forms like a like you blow a bubble. Yeah. But it's like a bubble of like protective scent. Get the fuck out of here. That's no okay. So figuratively, a bubble of protective scent. Yeah, I tell you what, we could rock it like. Dude, it's point. like your shit is the Death Star, and it's the fucking it's the fucking force field. We could rock it 2.0 and like have uh, poo scrubber bubbles. Like put your fucking poo avoiding action into the poo. Like you you squirt it on top. You squirt it on top of the water. But it's scrub of bubbles. So as soon as the poo lands, it's like a scrub a bubble barrier. What poo? There was no poo. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't see no poo. It's Invisib- just a, it's invisible poo. Exactly, invisible poo. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Give me on that, bro. Ah! Invisible poo. We're, we're gonna we're... invent that shit. Oh my god. But well, hey, you didn't hear this, yeah. fans and listeners. You scrape that from your craniums. <laughs> yeah. Didn't hear a thing. And they were never heard from again because they fleed to a fucking island somewhere because they invented yeah, Invisipoo. They went straight to the patent office. <clears throat> that yeah, might, dude. Invisipoo, bro. Might. You might have a point there. Because you know what? Everybody has to poo. And everybody doesn't like having anybody else smell their poo. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 1979 Candy, we appreciate that contribution. And um, duly deserve. noted. Hopefully, all of us answered your questions. All of us, both of us, answered your questions. Some people do like the way that other people's poo smell, but I consider those people weird as fuck. She had a great, uh, she had a good post, and I want to play this post. This was also posted uh, on Instagram by uh, underscore 1979 underscore candy. Oh, candy, candy. Let me see if I can find this effectively quickly. It's, I know, I know where I got to go. Give me a second. This is, to preface this, this is um, a, a, a pretty old lady at um, what appears to be her church. And church. she is... Preach. <clears throat> she is talking about what a woman needs to do to keep a man. Oh. Um, that would be make me a sandwich fillet me and uh i don't know uh wake me up in time to not get fired from my job that sounds slightly sexist (laughs) 
Um, I'm gonna what, find it. What the sandwich it. part? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna find it. Give me a second. Um, the point was this. Um, she comes up with a very valuable point. And that's why I saved this to play this. Um, and I want to thank 1979 Candy for that. Um, old women do not teach young women how to act. In other words, a long time ago, they were finishing schools for women that would, um, I guess, you know, smooth out the rough Teach edges. Teach how to cross your legs properly. Exactly. So you don't, like, shower and stone everybody on earth, right? So that was, that's one aspect of it, I guess you could say. And another aspect of it is older women, like, statistically, they were better at uh, keeping the marriage together, women and men. Like yeah. they, the rate of divorce has increased over time, so obviously the older people know the secret to keeping a good marriage, right? Well, I mean, uh, it stands I'll to reason. Tell you what the, the the downfall of that is: social media, bro. I mean, a hundred percent. Fuck no, it's not social media. It was economics, man. Nobody, uh, what? nobody could support a family one on one income, so all of a sudden they had to get two incomes. So that meant the wife had to leave and go to work too. So they spent less time together, and their children got raised by the like, care the care keepers or caregivers. Whatever. Yeah, there you go, caregivers. The children raisers. The children raisers. Yeah. So you understand what I'm saying? I mean, but I don't necessarily think that that's the truth. Um, it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great though. Well, uh, do you disagree? I mean, I, yeah, kind of. I think that it really, you know, it depends. No, I don't disagree, bro. You know, I think you're, I think it's right. Do you? No, seriously, I'm asking. Uh, repeat the question, please. Well, um, I'm blaming the escalation in d um, uh, divorce rate on uh, economics. Oh, yes, no, definitely. It's social media. It's What it is, it's basically uh, society's... Okay, so we basically know a lot more about each other's personal lives. Like, I know a lot more about... We know a lot more about everybody else's lives. Okay. So it it makes our imperfections and our flaws more... Yeah, but the divorce rate has been increasing since before social media, man. Um, but I also think that it doesn't take into consideration the fact that the marriage rate has not increased. Uh, so you have a decreasing, you have a decreasing marriage rate and an increasing divorce rate. So is there a decreasing marriage rate? I mean, you know, do the math. I did not know that. I mean, I'm I'm here to drop knowledge. 1979 candy. I cannot find your fucking post. So, you know, once you once you factor these things in, then it's apparent that just people aren't people aren't getting married um like they used to. <clears throat> you know, it sounds cliche to say that, but they really aren't. I would I guess I think people wait longer these days and they sleep together before they get married, right? They fuck everybody fucks everybody. Yeah, and they they live together before they get married now. They like test the waters 120. Yeah, there's no there's no sanctity. No, what the fuck is that anyway? Well, nobody knows, but it's a like cool Catholic word that people throw around, especially old people like, "Where's your sanctity in marriage?" <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that means. My sanctity right here in my fucking pants, oh. bitch. Oh, that's how you talk to old people? Take I, it easy, bro. All the old people in my life are dead, bro, so. True that. I am the old person. Dude, I straight up lost this post. I've been scrolling the whole time we've been talking. Cannot yeah. find it. Damn. And I saved it because I thought it was pretty good. Hmm. And I can't fucking find it. It happens. I know, right? God damn, man. I can't believe I can't find the fucking post. Oh, well. Oh, well. My, ba my bad, uh, 1979 shit. Candy. Candy, we love you for just caring about enough about us to just to give you two cents. That's all we, that's all we care about is your two cents. Yeah. 
Um, appreciate the follows and the likes, though. We're going to keep shouting you out. So uh, listen to us instead of true crime while you're doing your cleaning and you're working and stuff, right? Yeah, Candy, you're awesome. I mean, with a name like Candy, I just can't help but want to chew all on uh, like, like they made a song about that, right? Like, I want candy. Bum, 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 it's bum, like bum, candy. Bum. Yeah, that too. There's so many songs about you. That's crazy. Wow. Anyway, so um, so we could do a bunch of coke right now and put out Buku episodes, Dude, but I let's think God, I think we wouldn't so make sense. We got to try to be coherent for the fans. I knew I knew this cat that liked to smoke crack. Um, I don't know if you remember this. Is there dude. any other way to do crack? Well, look, I'll, I'll, I won't name him, but you might know who this was. I knew this cat that liked to smoke crack. crack. He would jump from one topic to another, completely unrelated rants. And I feel like since I knew him and I saw how he acted on crack, that we would lose a following real quick if we did like Buku Coke or a bunch of crack. Because like everybody would be like, what the fuck are they talking about? I don't understand. Where? How did we get here? But maybe if they were on the same level, then like the crack That means craze. we'd have to be like Mr. Happy and like hand out crack with a reloaded 504 business cards. I mean, maybe. I don't know. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, so I guess maybe if this was, like, a cocaine, like, fueled podcast, then, like, maybe our listeners would be like, these fucking dudes are all coked up, let's yep. go get some coke, bro. They go hard. Yeah, like, maybe so. You know, so. I, I feel like the cartel would get all that money. Though. Birds of a feather, I think, flock. We'd have, to pe- we'd have to have people out in the street, bro. Yeah. Hey, um, what the fuck is this? That's, what, what is this? It's a wedding. Uh, uh, invitation for where? Uh, th- Thailand. Yeah, I just want to point out that you're going to the wedding is occurring in fuck it, Thailand. Phuket. Um, no, it's P H U K E T, which is pronounced Phuket. No, um, I'm American, and that spells fuck it all the way around. <laughs> You're going to fuck it, Thailand. I mean, technically, <laughs> I am, but at least I'm not going to Bangkok. All right, well, yeah, right. <laughs> I thought that's why you handed this to me when I spotted it. I was like, oh, okay, got it, running. <laughs> I know, man. Thailand. No, I was just trying to like. I was just basically bragging that I'm going to Thailand in like a month or two. Oh, thanks. Yeah, appreciate that. Bro. Super excited about it. Thanks for bragging about stuff to me. But like, isn't this like what the? Who is who has the audaciousness? I to- believe the audacity. Audacity. Who has the audacity? Thank you, Dave. Jesus Christ, my dumbass. I'm, I'm not Jesus. I'm just Dave. Who has the audacity right? to fucking get married in Thailand and then fucking invite people to your wedding in Thailand? I mean, are they paying your way? No. Oh yeah. Well, they're they're gonna have a sparsely populated a ceremony. We're gonna be there, but like, who does that? Um, nobody except for them. I mean, I see it as, like, hashtag, I woke up like this bitch. I was supposed to be in Thailand. Um, I see it as maybe on the slick they were like, hey, this place is called Fuck It Thailand. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's get married. Fuck it. It's Fuck gonna, It Thailand. It's going to cost a lot of money to go to Phuket, Thailand. And some Americans going to be like, hee hee, we're going to call it fuck it, Thailand. Hey, if it's going to cost a lot of money, just walk around there the whole time and be like, y'all pronounce y'all's place wrong. It's really called fuck, fuck it. it. yeah. We're in fuck <laughs> it, Thailand. Dude, I don't know, but I'm fucking psyched, bro. You're fuck it psyched? Dude, dude, 16-hour flight. Jesus Christ. No, no, no thanks. No, thank you. 16 hours, bro. Like, I think that my like, body parts will either shrink or expand. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If you're th- while you're there, um, if any fights should happen to break out, uh, would you please film said fights? I am not getting involved. They got kickboxes out there, bro. That Just film it, bro. Up. I'm asking you to like, film I'll it. I'll see the si- like a dude the size of a spider monkey, and he will like wrap his legs around my neck and fuck me up. No, I'm not asking you to get involved. I'm just saying film that shit. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, cool. 
uh, I want to put this out there for all the Reloaded 504ians and um, your friends, relatives, and whoever you can message on social media that publishes videos of fights. Okay. I just want to mention something real <clears throat> quick. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I, I know, I know. Like, I'm right in the middle. But just imagine this bride's strife. Holy shit. Her she, last name is Kuntz. I didn't even realize that. And then she's married. And then into she's a, marrying a guy with the last name Hancock and they're getting married in fucking Thailand. So you her need to name save that, dude. Her name is Katie Kuntz Hancock and they got married in fuck it. That's so <laughs> unbelievable. This uh, needs to go viral. <laughs> Good point, young Todd son. Hey, bro. I just try to bring the fucking content to the people. You just waxed on and waxed off. She went from a Kuntz to a Hancock, and they did it all in <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, all right. Man. Well, have fun on that trip, dude. That's dude, hilarious. How can it not? If right? they hand out anything, you need to keep it, bro. Like, whatever else that they, they, whatever else they had printed, keep it. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a gem for the ages. <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, phonetically we're all blessed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all right, no, seriously, check it out. Look, if you're gonna break your phone out and film a fight, there are a few things that I want everybody to keep in mind. All our listeners, all y'all relatives, all the people that y'all can message on social media. Seriously, I'm st- I'm so tired of seeing stupid ass fight videos, and I don't mean just because they're fight videos, I mean because they were poorly filmed. So check this out. So poorly <coughs> thought. Like, stop with all the windmill fucking throwing. Yeah, man. Stabilize yourself. Check this out. Number one, don't be short. If you're short, understand that you, you're, are, you are to assume certain risk. Realize that you must get out in front because you're short. I don't need to see the shoulders of onlookers while the action is obscured. You understand what I'm saying? I if do. you're short, get out in front. If you're tall, stay in the back. Whatever, bro. Like, figure that shit out beforehand. Number two, focus, motherfucker. We're not trying to see Julie's ass or your friends bumming a smoke or your face screaming, world star, or any of that shit. Focus on what you're doing. Yeah, try right? to keep the fucking the image stabilized, bro. Don't get sidetracked. That's my main thing, bro. Don't get yeah, yeah. sidetracked. Focus on the task at hand. How about that? Yeah, all your, oh, yeah, like, all just that focus, shit, bro. Yeah, and boogering your nose and all that. Get the fuck out of here with that. Number three, anticipate if Mike and Jeff have beef and they're friends with the two that are fighting, keep your peripheral on Mike and Jeff because... They're already beefing, and there's tension in the air. Yeah, maybe Shit could pop off at any moment between Mike and Jeff. Yeah, so throw keep, a snicker their way or that's something. That's it, bro. Keep peripherals on Mike and Jeff. If you got peanuts in your pocket. I know, awesome. I know I'm asking a lot, but come on, man. We need to improve the quality of these fight videos. Number four, interview the loser. Tell him he kicked the, the other guy's ass. Tell him he's the martyr <laughs> for your cinematographic... Cinematographic? Yeah. What the fuck kind of word is that, bro? Too long. Cinematographic. No, it's uh, cinematographic. No. C- cinematographic. I don't <coughs> you know. Said, if I didn't, if I hadn't just smoked a lot of weed. I wrote I it. <laughs> I wrote it, and I, I'm not quite sure. I just unleashed that beast. Cinema- anyway. Cinematography. He is the martyr for your efforts, your cinematographic efforts. That's not a word, Dave. Pay homage. If he's unconscious, hold an eyelid open. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Tell that dude he won. You understand? He put up an effort. You got a video out of it, and maybe it's a viral one. So hold that dude's head up. Hold an eyelid open and be like, hey, bro, you kicked that fucking dude's ass. If you're holding somebody's eyelid open, it's definitely going to go viral. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You have... I could be given, like, really serious advice right now. Yeah, but I think maybe... Did you give the advice? So, did the person that rendered said person unconscious, was he the one that was holding the eyelid open? No. This is all geared towards the person filming the fight. Oh. I'd like to see the person who delivered the blow hold the eyelid open. All right. That's a whole nother podcast. But I think that would be ideal. Number five, motherfucker. (laughs) Number five. 
if the cops show up and then make him wink like <laughs> there you go if the cops show up implement a fictitious because that's un- what I'm going to do the fucking crippled bitch that uh, that I'm going to cripple even more thank you sorry go ahead number five I just get really like bent out of shape when I'm just in the middle of a list right here I don't know maybe you can <laughs> this is the last one after that you can rant yeah, no, I'm good, bro. I was just... Yeah. Number five. Jesus Christ, number five. If the cops show up, implement a fictitious unknown third party and watch part two of your film unfold. So, you're there. You're filming a fight. The fight happens. The fight's over. The cops show up. Run up to the cops while you're still filming and be like... Bobby Joe ran that way. He's got a pistol, and he was the whole reason everybody got in a fight, and I think he took my sister. Bam. Yeah, they're going to take off, dude. Just saw the Green Lantern. He went that way. You just made your video go viral. Right? If you get the cops running right, that's like definitely a dope move. Yeah, so uh, anyway, that's uh, all my advice for people that are filming fight, and I think it's pretty fucking solid. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that you have some really good insights there. I think one thing that you did miss out on is if you ever have hot coffee in your hand, pour it. <clears throat> Don't pour it. Throw it, I guess, to the person to the left of you. And then when they shriek, punch them. Um, chances are that, like, by that point, they'll have third-degree burns. Skin will be, like, melting off of their faces or something. Melting! <laughs> I don't have any sound. I have no sound in my ears. I know. You keep acting like it's like a debilitating situation. Well, I can't hear anything. Well, just take the fucking things off. I mean, maybe I just like to be like the person that complains about situations. All right. Let's do a shot of Fireball. And then I'm going to tell you about my Fireball candy bust. Okay. Yeah. It happened when I was a child. Bro. I busted an adult using fireballs before this shot was ever made. About that action. So you busted somebody dropping some fucking I'm cinnamon fill candy you in, bro. into a Do me box. a favor, though, while I pour this. Give me a beer right behind you, please. I got you all day, bro. Thanks, son. Seriously? Yeah, we should, like, ice those things. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour us a couple of shots. Give me that beer, and we're gravy. <clears throat> oh, you're a champion. I'm knocking them down, son. Bam! That was a couple of 12-packs. Who is this to? <clears throat> Who's this shot going to be to? I don't know, bro. Who, um, who amongst us has... Passed recently? Yeah, I don't man. know. I don't know. People are dying every day, bro. Dropping like flies. All right. Chin chin. Uh, this is to fucking us still being alive. How's about that? Word. Yes. Whoa. I thought I told you about Fart Podcast before, bro. Sometimes you don't have time to say, I have to wait. Oh, I told you to tell me ahead of time so I could turn on the echo so it Sometimes could be like, you don't have time to wait. You just have to, you have to go with, yeah. All right, um, I'll tell you this story real quick and then we'll Rochambeau. Oh, so, I don't um, feel, why, why, why we got, oh. Okay. I was, um, I, used, I used to go to the summer camp in my neighborhood and uh, I was at the local uh, playground, Little Farms Playground in River Ridge. And um, we kept getting our fireball. You remember fireball candies, right? I do. We kept getting those stolen from our lunch boxes. All the kids. Couldn't figure it out. So inevitably, you're like, well, shit, that got stolen. I got to use my 25 cents or my my last dollar whatever got to go to the concession stand and they were um, jacking all the young kids bro right 
Got to go buy another fireball, right? So that's what everybody would normally do. I used to love those things. So I convinced my camp counselor, I was like, look, I can hide behind the bleachers. It was those bleachers that fold up that they shove against the wall. I was like, look, I can hide behind the bleachers because this happens every day. And the only time that we're away from my lunches is when we're outside playing. So, I smell a rat. So let me hide behind the bleachers and I'll bust whoever is stealing. Because I was getting stolen from too. So you basically turned state's evidence on these motherfuckers. Fuck no. I stood behind like a, like a surveillance camera and found out who was stealing my goddamn fireballs. Because I was getting stolen from every day, bro. So you, so you wore a wire for the man. Whatever. I was the man. You heard me? <laughs> I took charge of a situation as a, as a small child. Uh, and I, you know what? I ain't mad at I you. convinced them to let me do it. And I did it. And guess who was stealing fireball candies from all the little fucking kids? The authorities. It was, it was not a counselor. It was a chick that worked the concession stand. This she would go steal bitch. all of the fucking fireball candies any candies from the kids, and then she'd go back to the uh, concession stand and, sell and s- resell them and keep the money because it was off the books. Did you get this bitch fired? Yep. Fucking right, dog. Yep. I got an adult fired while I was a kid. That's I was like, so I just good, fucked bro. the man over. What? Did Dude, that. You just got mad points to yeah. like any <clears throat> fucking people that hate the man. Yeah, I was And stoked. a lot of people hate the man, bro. That bitch pissed me off. I was like, Fuck that motherfucker. bitch, bro. Like, Fuck I, that bitch. You can't steal from fucking children, dude. Not only that, it's like, look, man, I, I don't come from a rich family. I'm lucky to have this dollar. Let me cherish my fucking atomic firebomb. Exactly, bro. And this bitch is stealing from me. I got like this $1 or Taking this one joy quarter. joy from a child. Yeah. What? Fucking I hope she rots in fucking... Purgatory. Because yeah, 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 yeah. If you're reloaded 504 in and that was you, I hope your pussy falls out. Yeah, your pussy Shame is probably you. barren like the fucking, it's greasy and dry. Actually, let's not, let's not be like that. Hopefully, you're proactive and you changed your ways. But if, it, if you didn't change your ways, I go back to my original statement. I hope your pussy falls yeah, out. Yeah, just get your fucking pH right in your pussy, bitch. Jesus, man. Yeah, so that was what was up, man. <clears throat> I couldn't believe that shit, but I was so proud of myself for busting an adult. Yeah, that's that's dope, dude. I mean, you cannot like let fucking. That's horrible when you find out that adults are trying to play like. I'd be embarrassed kids. if that was like my sister. Right, or my right, 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 aunt right. Or that's my just cousin. That's bad business, man. You can't steal from like innocence. You know what I'm saying? Like you seriously. Like that's the ultimate violation. Like you can, like okay, you can steal from innocence. If the innocent person is like you want 21 to to years old and dumb as hell. Yeah, well, or if you want to go to hell. Like, I don't mind stealing from like a dumb, sexy bitch. Really? I Not wouldn't. stealing, I mean like stealing. I wouldn't a, have put that out there just now I, like I, that. I don't bro. think that I like I said just stealing, bro. Like, yeah, you know, you stealing. just said you like stealing from dumb, I, sexy well, bitches. Well, I've never like actually <laughs> stolen anything. Like, I don't have any reason to steal anything. Uh, I don't know. Sounds like you're backpedaling. I mean, I am kind of crawfishing, but geez, bro. Everybody knows I don't steal shit, so whatever. Good God. All right, enough of that, bro. Sweet Jesus. Look, I want to lay to rest once and for all right here and right now this quote-unquote self-identity bullshit. All right, and that's what it is, bullshit. First of all, it's something... All right, how would you put it? It's the same thing as saying... I like to pretend. So if somebody says, I identify as, it's basically the same thing as saying, I like to pretend that I am. That's, I'm convinced of that. Yeah. yeah how, how do they, how did those fairy spinners, like how did those story spinners convince governments to change rules? Don't like, know. Yeah, you might self-identify as a woman, but guess what, motherfucker? You're not. You were born else. You you were born as something else. You got to deal with it or have surgeries. How about that? It all stems from feelings. You feel this way or you feel that way. But there are times and places where your feelings 
don't belong. Keep some of that shit to yourself. Just Dude, some of it, like man. I want to be super fucking rich. Yeah, I feel like I should be able to go on red. But watch me get pulled over and get a ticket because I went on red, right? Which red? I'm going to be red light. I'm going to be in the back of the cop car with a busted lip real quick because when a cop walks up to my window... Because I ran a red light, and I'm like, hey, I identify that as a green light. He's going to be like, patow, get in the back of the cop car, fuck off. Yeah, but then you can say, patow, here's my attorney, bitch. You couldn't, shouldn't have hit me. Whatever, bro. Straighten up and fly. fry. All I'm we saying is- We can't be Al Bundy in this society, bro. There ain't no Bundy shit. I'm saying straighten up and fly right, man. If you're born a woman, be a woman. If you're going to get know, changed, bro. then get the surgery for that shit. But in the meantime, don't, don't tell don't. me you identify as something else because I don't give two fucks. Deal with it yourself until you are something different. I guess, bro. I don't. Like, if somebody. If, dude, if I ever. I identify. You know what's funny? I, I saw on fucking. I saw on fucking uh, social media the other day. No. It was a guy. It was a. Uh, a car that had a wrecked fender and they replaced the fender, but it hadn't been painted yet. The whole car My was fender silver. fender identifies as a complete fender. <laughs> yeah. The car was silver. The fender was still like the primer black. Right. And he wrote on there in marker, I identify as silver. That's good. It's about as much sense as it makes with everybody else. But it bro. doesn't matter, Dave. Like, it do- like what? it only matters if you let shit... Like, if somebody... I'm, all right. For per, personally, I've never experienced anything gender bias related. Like, you know, I've never met a dude that like wanted to be a chick or a chick that wanted like any of that. Like, maybe I have, but like in the last since it's it's become like a thing. Right. If it ever did, if like I ever did uh, come across that situation. I would treat it like I treat every other situation. Like I just would. I'm gonna treat a person like a person, man. I'm not saying that. Like you. I'm just saying, stop get... fucking being on a soapbox about this shit. Be like, I identify as a woman. Really, I'm a man, but it's the and media, I have a penis, bro. but it's the media. I identify as a woman, so I should be able to go into the woman's bathroom. No, that person bruh, probably no. doesn't give a fuck until you, you swing... give them a voice. Hey, bro, if you swing a dick, you're not going into the same bathroom as my wife is while she's taking a piss. Period. Oh, no. Period. I'll stop you. No, well, you can't in like a couple of months when it's like universal when everybody's pissing in the same bathroom. Whatever, bro. I'll punch him in the throat and be like, "I got fucking fist Tourette's." Whatever, everybody's bro. I identify be in the as same somebody bathroom. that doesn't like you. The Dave, fuck is that? In, in 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 five years, every like you're gonna be walking out of the same bathroom. They, you know what? If they want to solve save money, this, first of all, if they want to solve this, if they want to solve this, make it one big room. The bathroom. Yeah. Make it one big room. And make and all the stalls private. Make all the stalls reach from the ceiling to the floor. Yeah. Wow. We yeah. uh we we put up uh th- three more feet of particle board and solved the nation's problems. One hundred percent. End of story. Yeah. Fucking stupid, bro. And they're doing that actually in places. Good. Good. That's where. That's where. Well, you where it walk out. Be. You do your business, and you walk out, and everybody washes their hands in the same area. Yeah, I believe it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you can like, um, like I, I like to see like pubic hairs fall off of a woman's. Right, finger. that's disgusting, bro. No, it's fucking sexy. Um, you and I earlier before we press record were talking about uh fucking insomnia, which plagues everybody and their grandma. Um. I don't know about you, but as I'm trying to sleep, um, I can't stop thinking. Does yeah. that happen to you? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's the main dilemma. It fucking kills me, bro. Like, right. I, I, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a for instance. All right, right quick. While I'm trying to sleep, and it's late, and I need to go to sleep. I'm fucking tired. I know I'm tired, but I can't go to sleep. Do you I'm, have techniques that you use <clears throat> to fall asleep? I'm I'm about to run down a list of shit that I thought while I was trying to go to sleep. No, I have no technique. I can't conquer this, bro. It's it's rampant, bro. So, all right, lay, I'm laying there. It's super late. It's like 2 or 3 in the morning. And all of a sudden, I start coming up with shit about vegetables. Like, uh... What about them? All right. 
Um, like how to prepare them, how to like make dishes with just them? random shit. Like, uh, like I was how to coming shove up with them in your ass. What random stuff about vegetables while I'm sitting there trying to sleep. Check it out. And bear in mind, like I'm in ideal conditions. Like I even put earplugs in my ears. Uh, the room is dark. It's quiet. It's yep. cool. I have a blanket. I'm in a comfortable bed. All of these things, but. Here I am thinking about this bullshit. Check it out. Number one, why are they called Navy beans? Why can't they be any Army, Air Force, or Marine beans? Number two... They can be. Why are they called field peas? Like, where else would they grow? Number three... A tree. Why sell baby carrots or baby corn? Are they trying to be dramatic? Is this, is this for shock value or some shit? Let's add. Number four... Old El Paso has traditional, quote-unquote, refried beans. Why? Is there some new wave refried bean movement of which I'm not aware? Like, these things are cycling through my mind while I'm trying to That's get to sleep. That's the old El Paso? Yeah. Yeah. All this shit's going through my mind, and I'm like, what the fuck? I just want to go to sleep, bro. Jesus Christ. That's when you start doing this, bro. Let me. Th- I'm a, it's real simple. It's super easy. It ha- it 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 helps in like a fucking variety of yes. Different please, times. please enlighten me, dude. It's easy, bro. If you ever like are feeling... don't say count sheep, bro. I'm gonna punch you. No. Okay. No. Um. Just go immediately into like NASCAR mode, right? So you just imagine race cars. <laughs> You watching NASCAR, and you love it, dog. Like fucking, you didn't realize how much you loved watching NASCAR. Yeah, it's fucking phenomenal. Like these cars are fucking just like. So, uh, you're you're picturing in your mind watching NASCAR. One hundred percent, and it will put you right to fucking sleep. Um, because it's monotony, bro, and it's like. Oh, okay. So the monotony angle. Okay, I got you, guys. And you like you and your mind immediately picks up on like just like you you it works. It's crazy. really yeah. That's what puts you, you use this method or you just bullshit me. Just NASCAR. You use this method. Hundred percent have for over ten years. Seriously. Hundred percent, bro. And you sleep well. I sleep. You told me earlier you sleep well, and I didn't get into the hows and whys. But Dude, I sleep like a fucking champion. What the fuck? Anytime I have any trouble with anything, dude, that and like I said, this works in in many facets. Any any like, if you need to focus on something, just fucking NASCAR it out, bro. And then all of a sudden, go to the fucking racetrack, and you'd be you'd like, you, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. You being it. serious with try me right it. now? Try it, bro. Really? If you can't bust the nut, go to NASCAR. All right, bro. Reloaded 504 ians I guess you heard it here first. Y'all, all y'all, anybody, if you implore this technique at least once and it works for you, call us and let us know because I'm doubting this dude right now. 504-457-8011. Let us know. Uh, Reloaded 504 at yahoo.com. You know, plank out your testimony and be like, I tried it, it sucks, I tried it, it doesn't work, I tried it, it does work. Shit works. I'm going to bet no. And speaking of bets, by the way, you still owe me that five dollars like i'm I not said, I'm forgetting find, dude it's written on my calendar right here bro i'm gonna find out on i know Wednesday. you think it's silly because it's five dollars but it's five dollars because I, mean, I got new shoes i want them fat laces and eventually it costs i'm gonna pay you five dollars and shut the fuck up good but good. until then victory is mine i'm gonna figure this out but yeah for real though i'm telling you nascar bro it is the ultimate distraction all right just to recap reloaded 504 ians i bet him five dollars his father told him that... My father told me. His father told him that he had a, a co-worker that used to sweat profusely, and his father gave that co-worker some advice, and he said, uh, put some potato underneath your armpit, and you'll quit sweating. And my bet is that the potato was skinned. Todd's bet is that the potato still had the skin. Yeah. It's for $5. He still has not contacted his father. We're talking about it's been two months now. Oh, the, think, longer than I that. I think he's just he's just he uh, thinks I'm ducking dragon the question. ass because yeah. he knows that he thinks, really I have I have the winning bid. He thinks that I think 
that like he's going to forget. But really, I know that I'm right, so I'm just kind of like stringing it along. So for the dramatic effect. Fuck you. I'm going to remind you every episode. And it's better that way for both of us. Five dollars, bro. Where's my five dollars? I got your five dollars, homeboy. I got your five dollars all day. I know you do. Five dollars of yours is mine. That's a... If it makes you sleep better, you got my... you, You already own it. Yeah, it might, bro. I could like take the five dollars, rip it in half, what, stuff do, what, it in my ears, and all of a sudden, I mean, I'm if that's the sleeping type of, peacefully. That, the, I mean, as your friend, as a friend who cares for you, if that, if that would makes you feel happy, man. Then. We ain't friends till you pay me oh, what you owe that's, me, bro. That's true, I guess, right? So, yeah. yeah. So, so we got beef until the shit happens. We might be beefing, son. So we're gonna podcast like with beef with anima. So the, the anim, okay, so that. Animatized, Anim- animosity. The animatized podcast. Animosity. So let's do one like with beef. So the next one's going to be beefish? Yeah, we might be beefing. Nice. It I like that. I like it. It's not East Coast, West Coast, I'm, but... Uh, I, we might have to fuck... I'm going a, I'm to a fuck you up, dog. Yeah, well, as soon as you go to fuck it Thailand, I'll probably like steal all your shit. This dude so. just said fuck it Thailand. He, You're going he, to fuck it Thailand. Did you hear that? Dude, all my hey, Thai friends. Reloaded 504 uh, it's if, y'all, called, if y'all up with us on YouTube, it's Instagram, Pouquet. or Facebook, look Pouquet. out. For, I'm going um, to I'm gonna He's publish racist. I'm going to publish a close up of He's this. He's a racist. He's a bigot. Hold on, man. I'm going to publish a close up of this. Well, I got to um, hold on, man. I thought we were beefing. I ain't trying to hold on. This... <sighs> I mean, fuck, I'm finna hold on to your neck until you are rendered unconscious, and then that's basically all that I'm gonna hold on to. All right, I just. And then I might hold on to your ankles as I dragged you from, like, my living room to my front lawn. Look, you get one breath, not two. Shut the fuck <laughs> on up, bro. This dude has got an invitation, and I'm not lying. It's from Fuck It Thailand. Okay. And- if y'all are up with us on Instagram, <laughs> or Facebook, or YouTube, or Twitter, or whatever, um, go look. I'm going to publish a picture of this invitation. It really says... Wait. Okay. No, that's not all it says. It, it says, and I quote, that um, a, a lady by the last name of Cunts is marrying a man by the last name of Hancock, and they're getting married in fuck it Thailand. I'm not even shitting y'all. <laughs> I would spend money to go there and be like, I was there for that. I need an airbrush t-shirt. All right, peace, y'all. Hey, we love all of y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and listening to us. I know sometimes we get long-winded and retarded or stupid drunk, but whatever, man. Power through it with us. Oh, man. There ain't nobody else out there. That's funny. There's nobody else out there that does this shit. Like, I'm talking about shit that nobody talks Dude, about but everybody good. thinks peace 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 because peace, the phone peace, peace you're trying to you're trying to cling to the old school bro people don't use phones no more bro people oh. use the dm oh, 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 oh. Okay. okay i was signing off and wait what i was i was in the middle of signing off that's why i was using the echo oh i'm sorry bro was i sitting there like getting personal while we were live uh, you, were you were explaining the world while I was, like, signing off. Oh, shit, my bad. All right, I, I'm going to go Sign ahead. Sign off. Peace.